Hey everybody, hope you're having a great day. Um, in the past, we did a couple reviews of Mr. Beast's uh, chocolate bars, which were probably the healthiest chocolate bars you could ever eat if you're gonna eat something that's not exactly healthy, candy or sweets. They're probably the best option you can get. They're not cheap, but you pay what you get for, or you get what you pay for, something like that. Anyway, um, he has come out with cookies as well. Um, and we're gonna give those a try today and see what, the, see what they're like and see uh, what that's all about. So here we go. I'm gonna open the bag. Right. These are the chocolate chips. He's got two flavors. One's chocolate chips and the other one's peanut butter chocolate chip. So I'm kind of excited about that. So, and the cookies are all almost, read the ingredients, they're almost all natural ingredients and it actually looks like fairly decent for you, especially for a processed cookie. Okay, and there, there we go. Hmm. Not too bad. I think definitely gonna need some type of fluid, coffee, or these would be fantastic with a coffee. Like to to sip to eat while you're sipping coffee. But Mm, not too bad. Try a little bit of water. Mm. Water gives you a better flavor um, than milk will because it's a neutral flavor. Milk's going to enhance the taste of it. So water's always a better thing to cleanse your palate with or add to it um, to taste for a flavor on, on stuff like that, like food and things. Now I'll try another one just to see here and again very similar and two cookies on the regular chocolate chip is 140 calories so that's a lot of calories so that's 70 calories in that little thing which is kind of cool if you're trying to gain weight really fast but not so much if you're watching your weight but they're pretty tasty Okay, yeah, pretty solid. I'd definitely buy them. I don't know if I'd buy them for five bucks again. The scratching that you hear is my amazing boxer who is playing with uh, something on the ground. I think it's food or a toy. So that's what that is if you're wondering. All right, next, we're going to have the peanut butter. These are 140 calories, so there's 10 less calories in these for some reason, for every two of these, because there's two per servings, and I think there's six servings per container. So do the math, there should be 12 cookies in there. Um, okay, these actually look a little more chocolatey. You can see the chips a little more. And these are actually a little softer and not as dry. Pretty good. We can get away with these, with without drinking fluids, but the fluids make it be better. This again would be fantastic with a melt. Absolutely, the peanut butter is the way to go. Far better out of the two. Not even, not even close. But again, I'll try one more, just to make sure. Might have to keep trying these. And again, you can see way more chocolate chips in these. And again, a much more moist cookie. So, mmm. Mmm. As I mentioned, these are the way to go. Not overly peanut buttery, not overly chocolatey, but very peanut buttery, very chocolatey. Definitely. Definitely a home run on this one. This one's pretty good. These are way better. If you're gonna spend money, buy the peanut butter. Unless you're allergic to peanut butter for some reason, then buy that one. Well, I don't know. And since there's 100, 130 calories per two cookies, this would be good to make a weight gainer shape. So if we're younger and you're trying to 
put some weight on, you know, some first form, throw your protein in there, and then some milk, and then put, you know, four to six of these in there. When you do it, not only will it taste fantastic, you'll get some weight on you too. And that's it for my review for the day. Um, definitely going with the peanut butter out of the two. They're much, uh, much more noise. Tons of peanut butter flavor, good chocolate flavor, all the way around, peanut butter is the money. So as always, train hard, train smart, and be the best you can be.